There's a brand new officially licensed Godzilla King of the Monsters holiday ornament out this year. It's been a while since we had one of these. This is an exclusive for the FYE store. I bought mine in a store, but you can also get it from their website. And you can see it's a cute little Godzilla. It looks like he's kind of sneaking around. Anyway, not a commercial, not a review. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Now a poem. Twas the night before Christmas, and up in this bitch, I worked really hard on this next sponsor pitch. If I tell you about Baiyi.jp and Rhyme, maybe you won't skip the sponsor this time. Baiyi is how you buy stuff from Japan, shop Japanese stores, and win some auctions, man. Baiyi handles language barrier and currency conversion, so you can buy collectibles or whatever is your perversion. Baiyi makes it so easy to get Godzilla stuff, like books and games and toys filled with fluff. Buy Japanese food, buy Japanese candy. Don't take it from me, here's my dog Andy. I'm not doing this, man. Baiyi and I are partners, you see. Sign up with my link, you'll get money for free. 2,000 yen to start shopping for things, like robots and heroes and monsters with wings. Sign up for Baiyi for a future that's bright. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good afternoon. I couldn't think of a rhyme there. Flight time! Yay! Feliz Navidad, buddies. Your old pal Santa MIB's got a real present for you this Christmas. Oh boy. Because of my work on this channel, every algorithm on every website I visit shows me Godzilla stuff. And that includes a lot of unlicensed stuff, like this ad for a Godzilla advent calendar. Holy crap, 24 Godzilla toys? A new one every day? What a bargain! What is that, a shrunken Mezgo Kong? A D for real? That's worth the price alone! I love this ad because everything is so obviously photoshopped together, and I don't expect this calendar will have any of these items. Except maybe these guys. These are those cheap plastic Godzilla monster bootlegs you often see being sold under the name Cake Toppers. You could buy these on Amazon right now, and you should! They develop communication, create imagination skills, and they help you find new playmates. Hey, you wanna come play with my bootleg Godzilla minis? Going to the website, I saw that there were several Godzilla advent calendars with different artwork and different toy images. So I went for this one with this stolen artwork and the most outrageous looking gift selection. You know, the one with 24 little doors. They all say that. They all say they're the one with 24 little doors. Is there a Godzilla advent calendar somewhere on this site with 50 little doors? Or maybe 24 giant doors? And look, I don't mean to dwell on the obviously deceitful marketing material, but the audacity of some of these bullet points. Randomly packed Godzilla gifts and mini souvenirs. 24 pieces. Spoilers, two things about this line will not be true. Could this advent calendar be any better? Spoilers, yes! New 2023 edition, the perfect calendar for Godzilla lovers, the perfect advent calendar for your Godzilla-obsessed mate, you just said that! Officially licensed! The audacity! You're just as officially licensed as I am! Today's my lucky day because while this usually goes for $73.31, it's on sale for only $43.98. There's an option to choose between the standard edition or the deluxe edition that costs more, but there's no image or description telling you the difference between the two, and I'm terrified both options send you the same box. Whatever, I bought the deluxe edition. While we wait, for those of you who don't know, an advent calendar is a poster or box with 24 small doors, and on December 1st, you open the first door, and each day after, you open one more door, all the way to Christmas Eve. Inside, you might find candy or chocolate, a small ornament, a toy, something small, not a Mezco Kong size toy. Alright, here it is, didn't take long. And so as I open this, I'm noticing something crazy. Well, two things. One, this is not the art I picked. And two, this isn't a typical cardboard advent calendar or, or, or a wooden one. This is a plastic storage container. Something you could buy at Home Depot for your work screws or your fishing tackle. Here's what the ad promised me, and it's the one part of the ad I trusted maybe might be true. I expected the bootleg toys. I didn't expect the calendar itself would be so plastic. And I guess each day you just punch a hole through this paper part to get the gift, but there's already a problem, which you'll see. Many of the doors share a compartment in the container, so when I punch day one, it also opened day two. 
Hey, there's only one toy here between the two days. Already I'm being cheated. And who is this guy? He's not from Godzilla. He's not from Kong. This is an ultra monster named Maga Orochi. I'll just go to day three and it's... Gamora, another ultra monster. <laughs> Listen to me laughing while I record this B-roll. <laughs> but wait, there is a second toy in this compartment for December 4th, and it's a bootleg Godzilla Lego piece. I mean, the ones I already have are bootlegs, but this is a bootleg of a bootleg. Look, at least it's Godzilla, okay? That's how low the bar is right now. Please let this piece of Tupperware have Godzilla vs. Kong anything. It's Zeppendon from Ultraman. And there's another toy for the sixth, and it's another Godzilla Lego, this time in gold. Oh my god, this entire calendar is Ultraman monsters and Lego Godzillas, isn't it? I actually do like the colors, though. At least there's that. Can you imagine doing one of these a day? Oh, it's December 7th, and my Godzilla vs. Kong advent calendar gave me... Great best, sir. Don't know how to say this one. And no toy for December 8th! Robbed again! until December 9th, when you get Arch Belial from Ultraman. You didn't really want a monkey toy, did you? What's this? It's a pin! It's Godzilla and Kong! In the Godzilla and Kong advent calendar on December 10th! Due to the nature of this calendar's wrapping paper, future days are starting to rip open. Here's 11 and 12 together, and it's two figures. The first is Sidora from Saturday Night Live. No, he's an ultra monster, of course. But look at this. An actual Godzilla figurine. Actually, it's not bad at all. The tongue looks dumb, but it's a fine enough little toy Godzilla. And look, another Godzilla. This one's hawking up a loogie. It's okay, but we're already taking a step down from the last Godzilla toy, and we can't afford too many steps down. This Godzilla looks like Horroboros from Ultraman. December 15th and 16th, here we go. I hope I get... Another Ultra Monster, and an even worse Godzilla. The monster is Fire Golza, and the Godzilla looks disturbed. Here are the three Godzillas so far. December 17th is going to be... Gargorgon, the Ultra Monster. And Amuto! Yes! We are in the ballpark of the theme that I paid for! And for a cheap Muto, it's pretty decent Muto, it gets the job done. And the best thing about it is it's just not an Ultra Monster. Like Red King on December 19th. And as a casual but not seasoned fan of Ultraman, these monsters are not bad. They're just not supposed to be popping out of this Godzilla vs. Kong advent calendar like an Ultraman Trojan horse. Look at this Godzilla. His eyeball paint completely missed the socket. Did they purposely order these Godzillas so that they get worse and worse? The last row is virtually open already. For the 21st and 22nd, we got another Lego. This one's black. Hey, it's been a while. I'm happier to get these Legos than the Ultra Monsters at the moment. Another Godzilla, whose eyeball missed the socket this time by more. He looks wrong. Godzilla is wrong. My expectations for the last two days are low. It's Godzilla. He's spitting out another loogie. He's not awful. Merry Christmas, have a semi-competent Godzilla after a month of disappointment. Oh wait, and there's also... Rugio Bone from Ultraman. So half of the calendar isn't even the Godzilla vs. Kong franchise. You don't need me to tell you how far off this ad is, right? Like, every square pixel of this ad is a lie! Honestly, the only thing I like about this is the case itself. I use it to store some toy accessories and parts, and it's been very useful. So I get a $60 toy organizer out of the deal. Anyway, that was the worst Advent month ever. So if you see an ad for this or something similar, now you know. I mean, you, you probably already knew, but now you really know. But let's check today's door in a real Advent calendar. Whoa, it's a Mezco Kong!